All right, good afternoon. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to use the drum mixer and cast your reinforced concrete beam for CE563. Now, in order for this to be successful, it's important that you're well prepared beforehand. So before you even think about putting stuff in the mixer, you need a few things ready. First of all, the beam. The sides of your form and bottom should be oiled, and your steel, whatever you're putting in there, should be in place with cages, or with your cage and your chairs. You need equipment. You need your cylinders. Minimum of six 4 by 8s also one 6 by 12 not shown here, oiled and ready to go. You need a rod and mallet and scoop for the cylinders. You'll also want uh, slump cone equipment, which we'll talk about in another video. You'll want a trowel and or a piece of plywood to strike off the top of your bu uh, beam if you overfill it. You'll also want your wheelbarrow. The inside of the wheelbarrow should be damp, sprayed down with a hose, and tilt it out to drain the excess. Same with the inside of the mixer. Spray it down with the inside of a hose, tilt it down so any extra water drains out. I've done this before the video to save, save time. Finally, you want your aggregates all weighed out and ready to go. We've got uh, coarse aggregate, fine aggregate, cement, and then water. With your water, Withhold about 10%. That way, if your moisture correction wasn't was a bit off, you don't end up with soup. We'll add everything else and then decide whether we need to add this or not. If you're using an admixture, if you're a high strength group, dump that in the remaining 90% of your water. Over to the drum mixer. The side of the wheel, the side of the mixer has this wheel that will adjust the angle of the uh, drum mixer. Pull this lever off, up to unlock it. Angle it up about that far. Push the lever down. Move the wheel until you're sure it's locked into place. This is a good angle for loading and mixing. Over on this side are the controls for the motor. On off switch knob on this far right side. That's got to be on before you do anything obviously. Over here we've got a couple levers. Uh, choke and gas. You'll want to start with these all the way to the left. Let it warm up for a little bit and then just gradually push it to the right as you go. When you can run everything all the way to the right, you're good to go. Now I've warmed up this engine uh, off camera before the video so it should be good to go. This lever here will control speed. All the way to the right is the slow speed which is what you want it to be on while you're adding stuff. Then when you're ready to mix, bring it over to the left. Don't shut off the mixer once you've got stuff in there. It's a lot harder to get it started with a full load. So to start it up, speed slow, knob on, these levers to the left, and give it a pull. When it runs smoothly like that, you're good to go. Now, there are several ways you can add your ingredients to the drum mixer to get a good mix. I'm going to explain one of them. I'll keep the camera back here so you don't have to try to hear me over that engine. I recommend you start by adding your 90% water to the mix. Next, add half your cement and half your coarse aggregate. A full bucket of coarse aggregate weighs upwards of 60 pounds. If you can't lift the full bucket, don't fill it all the way. We've got plenty of buckets. Now, You'll want to add the other half of your coarse aggregate and the other half of your cement. Once you've done that, take the mixer up to high speed, let it mix at full speed for a minute. Now, add about half your 
Tom and Klein. away and then repeat. Notice what happens to the concrete as you vibrate it. You can see the concrete smooth out and level off a bit. Straight in, straight out. Notice how that looks compared to how it looked before. Now we're going to finish and finish filling this, and then we'll do the same thing. You don't know, you don't need to go all the way to the bottom, you can just go a little more than halfway down into the previous layer. Now, that's still pretty rough, so we need to finish that top surface. First, take a scrap of plywood and use a saw in motion to remove any extra concrete from the top of your beam. Don't worry about tearing up the surface. Back and forth. If you get a lot of extra, scrape it off. This will also help fill in low points. Once you finish striking off, take a trowel, moisten it a bit, and smooth out your surface. Doesn't need to be perfect, but this is pretty good. Take a tarp or a white burlap. Cover your beam. Oh man, really? Alright, there we go. Also, those without 
pipes in or you put concrete in the beam, make sure you haven't left it somewhere where it's blocking a pathway. Have the plastic or burlap underneath. Take a scrap piece of steel or plywood or whatever. Angle it across so it doesn't get blown away. Your cylinder should be labeled, filled, stored near the beam. Most important thing, clean up. I trust you all know how to hose out a bucket, but I'm going to go over the drum mixer. Because that takes a little more effort. With it still running. Turn the hose on the thing. Concrete that's stuck to the bottom is knocked loose. That got all the concrete loose. Now we're going to dump this water. Step up on that. Locking the downward position and then hose it out until the water runs clear. Make sure you turn off the hose at the bib when it's done, otherwise it'll leak down on everyone. Clean up any other tools, put them back where you found them, and you've got yourself a beam. <laughs>